This is a small Anglo-Saxon village church suitable for any Minecraft village. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's dive in. To make the church, you'll need the following. There's a full supply list on the screen. I haven't included numbers for the end rods or lanterns, or for andesite and some extra bits of stone because they're for texturing and detailing, and how many you want is up to you. Now I'm pretty sure I've got the counts right. Some of them may be out by one or two. My apologies if that's the case. So that's the church layout. The numbers are on the screen, but don't worry too much. I will count us along as we go. And before we start, a quick word about the parts of the church. It will help with building. This large section here, this one, is the nave. This was the responsibility of the parishioners. They built it, they paid for it, they maintained it. This is the chancel, the responsibility of the priests. They paid for it to be built and to be maintained. There's a foyer here and you've got an optional tower. So let's get started. We're going to begin with stone brick. We're going to start at the southwest corner of the nave. So put a stone brick down. So this is the front. We're going to count along from that heading towards the chancel end, 15, counting this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And stone brick on the 15th. Turn 90 degrees. We're going to count across 11 with this as 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 with a stone brick on the 11th. Going to go 15 from here again. So 1, 2, 3, 13, 14, 15. That marks the four corners of the nave. Next, we're going to mark out the perimeters of the floor. So again, coming back to our front western corner. Cobblestone, leave a gap of three, and then fill in the rest with cobblestone all the way to the other corner. Along the back wall, cobble right the way along. At the chancel end, we're going to place one cobble and one brick, and on the other side, one cobble and one brick. Come to the western end, and we're going to place one, two, three, four cobble. Come to the other side, one, two, three, four cobble. Now we're going to build up the back wall first. So come around to the back. And at the corners, we're going to build this up to a height of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Same at the other corner. One, two, three, four, five. And just fill in the rest of the wall with cobble. OK, time to put the clear story windows. Some people call them Clara story. But when you think about it, it's a story of the building that is completely clear of floors or other parts of the structure. So at the ends, we're going to build up this column by another two. Then we're going to do two rows of three cobble. Leave a gap of one. Two more rows of three. Leave a gap of one. Two rows of two, gap of one. Two more rows of two. And finish off with two stone bricks. Next, come on top of your wall. And starting at the chancel end, in every gap, we're going to put a right way up and an upside down stone brick stair. And now on top of that, we're going to build two more rows of wall. So two stone brick, fill in everything with cobble, and two stone brick at the end. That's the back wall of the church done. Come around to the front, we're going to do this wall next. We're going to build up the corners to a height of four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to build these up with cobble to the same height. Should look like that. We've got a nice big gap for our entrance. Now we're going to build up one more. So stone brick on the corner, cobble right the way across stone brick at the end. Now we're going to do the clear story windows on this side. So come to your chancel end, 
two stone brick, two rows of two cobble, leave a gap of one, two rows of three cobble, leave a gap of one, and fill in the rest with cobble and two stone brick at the end. Stand up on your wall at the western end, at the tower end, and in your gaps, right way up, upside down stone brick stair. And top the whole thing off with two more rows of wall. That's the front wall of the church. Come to the inside. Let's build the chancel end of the nave. So coming to one of the stone bricks, doesn't matter which one, we're going to build it up to a height of four. So one, two, three, four. Same on the other side. Fill the gap between that and the wall with cobble. Now on top we're going to put two cobble. And on the inside, upside down stone brick stairs. Three cobble. Two more upside down stone brick stairs and a stone brick slab in between. Build the rest of the wall up to the height of your other two nave walls. And now we need to make a gable end. So at each end here we're going to put stone brick stair and we're going to fill in between with cobble. For the next row bring it in one more and do the same thing. So stone brick stairs, fill with cobble and keep doing that moving in one increment each side until you bring it to a nice point and cap it off with a stone brick slab. There's your chancel end of the church. Now let's do the western end of the church. So we're going to put a row of cobble on top of the walls that we already have. Then we're going to put a row of cobble right the way along. So we've made a little doorway and now we're going to build this wall up to the same height as your front and back nave walls. Now we're going to start building the gable end. We start exactly the same way. Stairs either end and fill with cobble. We're going to do that twice more. Now if you're building a tower, stop at this point. If you are not building a tower, build up the rest of this wall exactly the same as the chancel end wall. But that's the frame of the nave done. So we're going to do the foyer next. Come to our big gap and at this side we're going to count across one and two and put a stone brick. We're going to do the same on the other side, one and two and a stone brick and cobblestone in between and one cobblestone each at the front. Now we're going to build these walls up to a total height of four. So this is one, two, three, four. And now at the front, we're going to count up one, two, chiseled stone brick block, a piece of cobblestone, another chiseled stone brick block, and cobble either side and one on top, and stone brick stairs either side, and top it with a slab. And just come down to the doorway and pop a stone brick slab in the doorway and that's the shell of the foyer done. Next is the chancel. As I said this is the responsibility of the priest so it's a bit posher. So we're going to use plain stone. So come across to your front chancel end corner. Wait for the traffic to pass. On the chancel end of the nave count across one. And now we're going to place one, two, three, four plain stone and one stone brick. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four and one stone brick. And fill in the space between at the 
chancel end of the chancel with plain stone. Now let's work on the front wall. So we're going to build this front wall up to a total of four. So this is one, two, three, four. Fill it with plain stone. Now on the corner place two more stone brick, then two lots of two plain stone, gap of one and two plain stone. Stand on the wall facing towards the nave and in the gap right way up, upside down stairs and then put one more row of wall. So a stone brick and plain stone along the top. And there's your front wall of the chancel. Let's do the back wall. It's pretty much the same. So we're going to build this up to a height of four. One, two, three, four. Fill it in with stone. Build up two more with stone brick. Two lots of two rows of stone. Leave a gap of one and two more stone. Stand on the wall facing towards the nave. Right way up, upside down. And one more row of wall on top. And there's your back wall. Now for the chancel wall of the chancel and we're going to make it a bit more decorative. So come to one end of the back wall, doesn't matter which one, leave a gap of one and place a chiselled stone brick block, leave a gap of one, another chiselled stone brick block, one more gap and one more chiselled stone brick block. Fill the spaces between with stone and now on top of each of the plain stone we're going to build up five stone brick walls. So one, two, three, four, five and do that on each one. Put a stone brick block on top of each column of wall and a chiselled stone brick between the two outside ones leave the middle one empty. Now bricks on top of the chiselled stone brick plain stone on top of the other two with a chiselled stone brick in between two stone on top of your chiselled stone brick and two bricks on top of your plain stone it should look like that and now just add stone brick stairs at the sides and a stone brick slab on top that's our chancel end without the glass. What you do for glass is up to you. You can choose whatever colours you like. Minecraft though, metre by metre square glass panes, we don't have a lot of options for details at this scale. So I'm going with a very simple design. I've got red stained glass at the top, so two in the middle, one either side. I've got two orange below each of those and two yellow at the bottom. Stained glass windows. So I think before we add the roof we'll deal with the floor. So the first thing I'm going to do is dig out the entire floor of the church to a depth of one. Now if you're adding a tower don't forget to dig out the block in the doorway. If you aren't adding a tower feel free to block this doorway up. When we get to the chancel, dig out the entire chancel except for this row along the end wall. Alright, a chancel first. So we're going to do top half smooth stone slabs. And along this section here, we're going to do bottom half smooth stone slabs. Grab your chiseled stone brick and we're going to place one, two, three for an altar and pop your carpet on top, be it red or white. Next we're going to outline the nave with stone brick stairs. So here at the chancel arch, stone brick stairs facing like that and then we're going to start here to go all the way around the nave. Go across in front of the tower doorway and across in front of the foyer. And now fill all the space of the nave with bottom half stone brick slabs. Now that that's done, a top half stone brick slab in the doorway to the tower if you've got a tower and 
top half stone brick slabs in the foyer. Now this has two benefits. It puts the clergy lower than the priests in the chancel and it spawn proofs the floor in here. So any lighting that you do can be solely atmospheric. Time for the roof, I think. Let's start with the foyer again. So come to either side and we're going to place polished black stone brick stairs between the stone brick stairs and the nave wall. And at the top, a polished black stone brick slab. Come round to the chancel and we're going to run polished black stone brick stairs and top it with a row of bottom half slabs. Now for the nave and we're going to fill it all in with polished black stone brick stairs. Now if you don't have a tower it's going to be straightforward just build straight across. If you do have a tower it's going to be exactly the same it's just going to look a little weird. So bring your stairs right the way across and stop just short of the wall. There we go, let's come inside. Now the amounts I have allowed in spruce stairs and spruce strip logs are for a very simple version of an interior roof of the church. So you come up and in this centre space you run a row of stripped spruce logs right the way along. There we go and stop short of where the wall would be. And then run them along this lower level here. And now we make support beams by putting upside down stairs against the chancel wall, leave a gap of two, and we're going to make a total of five supports with gaps of two between each of them. So that's a simple straightforward roof support structure. Your other option, and this will take more logs, is take out each of the logs under the supports, run them right the way across the room. Now you can run them under everyone, but if you think that looks a bit much, just try it under supports two and four. Okay, and now come up and you can place more support beams in the center. And you can leave it like that, or grab your upside down spruce stairs again, one here, one here, and one there. And do that under each of the cross beams. And of course, don't forget to spawn proof your cross beams with carpet or torches or my favorite, matching pressure plates. So there's a bit more of a fancy roof for you in the church. Now you can leave the foyer as it is. You can put a stripped spruce log at the top or you can put dark oak slabs right the way across for a little bit of a nicer finish on the foyer roof. So if you're just building the church, congratulations, you're done, but we're not. Come down to the western end or the tower end. Starting at this front southwestern corner again, we're gonna count across one, two, three, four. And from here, we're gonna count across one, two, three, and four with stone brick block on the fourth. Do the same on the other side, one, two, three, four, and that should give us a gap of three between the stone brick blocks and between the stone brick blocks and the wall. Fill in each of those gaps with plain stone. Now, if you're building in creative, you can just keep going up. If you're building in survival, you can either build up scaffolding as you build your tower, or you can put your ladders in as you go, and it'll work just as well. So on this back wall we're going to place one two three four five six and seven pieces of ladder now build up your wall with a layer of stone bricks next we're going to place two stone bricks on each of these corners and fill in the spaces between with two rows of cobble now we're going to put in the first of the windows so two stone brick at each corner 
cobbles at each edges of the sides with a gap in the middle. Do that again. And now we face towards the chancel end, right way up, upside down stone brick stair. Same on the other side, right way up, upside down. And now we stand at the back, facing towards the front and in the gap, right way up, upside down. So your windows should face like this. Now we're going to do two more rows of normal wall on top. So two stone brick at each corner and two rows of cobble. Before we continue, we're going to put in the first floor of the tower. So bottom half dark oak slabs level with this last row of cobble. and a spruce trap door directly above the ladders. Now we're going to put in one, two, three, four more ladders which should bring us to the top of the nave wall and place one stone brick on each corner, cobblestone at each end of the sides, leave a gap in the middle and put a chiselled stone brick into each gap. Come on top and do two more rows of plain wall. Top the whole thing off with a row of stone brick blocks. Now another row of plain walls, so stone bricks in the corners and we're going to have four corners now. So on top of the nave wall we're going to put stone brick blocks. Fill in the gaps with cobble. And we're going to make another bottom half dark oak slab floor with one more spruce trap door. Now we're going to do windows. So on each of the corners, two stone brick blocks. Along the nave wall, we're going to do two rows of cobble. Now in the middle of each of the three remaining walls, we're going to put two cobble. Then on each of these walls, looking towards that centre column of cobble, we're going to put right way up, upside down, stone brick stairs. Let's do the same here and repeat this on each of the remaining two walls. Keep going up with your ladders and do another row of plain wall on top. Now add another piece of ladder and top the whole thing off with a ring of stone brick blocks. Now for the last floor of the tower. This will be exposed to the sky. I'm using top half dark oak slabs. If you're worried about lightning, feel free to use stone or cobble slabs or stone brick slabs. And in the corner here, a trap door. Now to top off the tower, in each corner, a stone brick block. In the middle of each wall, a chiselled stone brick block. Top all of those with stone brick slabs. And in the gaps, place a right way up stone brick stair. And there we are. Now, this is spawnable, so you might want to pop down a lantern or a torch or something like that, or maybe put down carpet. Now, because these are bottom half slabs, that puts us at the correct level for looking out the windows and it also means as we go down that it's very easy to light the floor below. This bottom floor, that lantern is too high to have any use. So we're going to dig out the floor, we're going to replace it with top half stone brick slabs and in one corner I'm going to put a piece of scaffolding as a table and pop a lantern on it. We're almost done. A couple of things to finish off. We need a front door on the church so I'm using spruce and I'm placing it so that it's recessed on the outside. We also need a door on the tower and I am placing it so that it's recessed on the tower side. So both the doors are flush with the internals. Now we can just add lanterns wherever we want. I've hung one in the foyer. 
Next we're going to add candle stands. I like to use end rods, they're light in and of themselves. I'm putting a lantern on top but when 117 comes I could swap that out for candles. Add as many of these as you see fit. And we'll add a couple in the chancel because this isn't spawn proof. Now if you're building an actual medieval church, your church is now finished. There were no pews. The congregation did not sit. It stood. There should be paintings on all the walls. But Minecraft, unless you want to do it all with a giant map, this is it. Now you can call it quits at this point. But the other thing you can do, come into your tower and in one corner dig down excavate underneath your church and make a crypt. Make it the same size as the nave. And also make sure that all your support pillars and your vaulting are stone to carry the weight of the church above. That's the crypt. If you want a tutorial on how to make the crypt, put it in the comments below. Now one last thing before we finish our church is to texture the walls. Leave the chancel as it is. The chancel, as I said, was looked after by the priests. They were more flush with cash, so they kept it maintained. But with these large expanses of cobble walls of the nave, knock out random blocks here and there. Don't go overboard. And replace them with andesite or smooth stone. Just do a few, see how you go. If you think you've added too many, take them out, put the cobble back in. Take it slowly and just texture these big walls. With the tower, I'd leave it be, but that's a matter of taste. You may again want to just knock out some blocks and replace them. So there we have it. One Anglo-Saxon medieval village church. Just a little one. If you want to see some more of my tutorials, there's end cards on the screen now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!